My name is Joni Kamiya. I'm Father Noli Alparse. My name is James Foley. Fred Van Rui Maseka. I'm Marlo Axis from the Philippines. My name is Vivian Chue. I'm Jason Merkley. My name is Abugu Modesta. And my name is Nassim Mugwanya. When I was a student in college, uh, I became an activist fighting a dictatorship. I was with like farmers and laborers and they were so poor. So I kept on thinking, how could I help these people? It's um, really very painful when you see families that cannot afford to feed themselves at least three times a day. It's ironic that the farmers, the very people who till the soil to produce food, are the same people who experience hunger. We're not just talking about American consumers here that have plenty to eat. We're talking about people in food insecure regions who have nothing to eat but a small handful of rice every day. My story is Jemima's story. She's one of those uh, smallholder cassava farmers. Cassava, a major food security probe, is under threat by two major viruses. This is very devastating. All the trees are being chopped down because all the papayas had virus in it. It's heartbreaking for him. And he said, I was so scared, Joan. I was so scared that we lose everything. It's traditional ways of farming in my country are not, just not enough to be able to feed the many. And I think the science and the technology that is happening in our midst could be a solution to that. Indeed, biotechnology can be of help to solving some of these problems. And therefore, if this technology is uh, adopted by the farmers, I think it can help them greatly. And it's my firm conviction that it's a fundamental right for farmers to have access to various farming options. It seems very cruel to deny that technology to those people who are in such desperate need. Access to biotechnology is really a social justice issue. Being a part of the first batch of cohorts of the Cornell Alliance for Science is truly a very rewarding experience for me. This is a completely unique program. As they say here in America, awesome. There is really a science to communication, and I knew that I needed to learn that. So when I found out about this program and that opportunity to learn more about how to communicate science, I couldn't do anything but jump at the opportunity. And there was a completely new approach. They have what they call grassroots approach. I got interested in this program because it was an avenue for me to improve on my communication skills in the area of agricultural biotechnology. My participation in this is hopefully to empower me to speak up and get others to speak up in support of this. Interacting with experts, agronomists, scientists, farmers, policymakers, journalists. Commitment and dedication can actually help someone to get further and prove a point. And there's such a rich exchange of knowledge and wisdom and the friendship. We're becoming like um, brothers and sisters and like family. I am an ally for science because I strongly believe that science can be a key in solving hunger, malnutrition, and poverty. I cannot do it alone. I cannot succeed on my own, all by myself. That's why I realize the need to unite, the need to engage, and the need to empower a network of partners. Right now, I really feel empowered. Right now, I am more confident in engaging the public in scientific undertakings. Isn't fascination and discovery wonderful? This is one of the best experiences that I will ever have in my entire life.